Hey guys, if this is your first time using Shotcut or you've had Shotcut for a while and you just don't know what to do with it, you don't know how to arrange it, you don't know how to make it look like it's able to be used, well stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to right now. Hey guys, this is Barbus of Barbus Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Today is going to be the start of my refurbished Shotcut tutorials. I'm gonna be breaking up individual little tutorials of shotcut instead of shoving them into three four tutorials into one video i think that'll help captivate the audience a little bit more help keep you more tuned in so first off if this is your first time using shotcut or you're still confused because on my very first shotcut tutorial i had all my ui set up and everything and i had people asking mine looks nothing like that how do i get mine to look like yours so today's tutorial is going to be on setting up your UI. And so when you open Shotcut for the first time, it's going to look like this pretty blank slate. You're really not going to know what to do with this at all. This is what how we're going to get started. This whole top toolbar here, this is how you set up your UI. Now this is going to be everything from uh, this peak meter is going to be like your audio levels. Um, properties is going to be how you adjust everything. So pretty much, and you can adjust things and put things where you want them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're, you, you need a timeline. You've got to have somewhere to put your videos. So all you're going to do is click on timeline. It's going to add timeline down here at the bottom. And every all your videos are going to get drugged down to here. And then the next thing we probably want to do is probably the export properties, which will get coupled with export down here. And then your keyframes is going to get coupled down here with your timeline. You can also, if you don't like the order that they're switched in, you can also click and just drag and they'll switch. Uh, peak meter, that's going to be for your audio. And playlist is going to be anything that you have played you can have it right here and you can rearrange it however you want to and your filters is obviously an important one your filters is what you're going to be using to add effects and stuff to your video and to your audio the jobs one is not on here where is it guys aha so what you're going to want to do jobs is that's where your what you're currently exporting is going to show up and that's where it's going to show the progress of it so you obviously are going to need that to keep an eye on everything so what you want to do is you want to click on view and then you want to go to jobs. I don't know why it's not there. Um, and like I said, you can click and arrange everything to however you want it. You can put it anywhere you want. So it's kind of a, like a free reign. There's no real set way that it has to be. This is just the way that I have mine set up. My timeline always goes in the bottom. That way when you open up a file, that file is going to pop up in your preview box here. And then all you have to do is click and drag it down here to add it to your timeline. So super easy. This is how you set up your UI. And I went from a blank slate to now everything is completely set up and ready for me to go. All right, guys, this is going to be it for this first tutorial of my refurbished tutorials and shotcut. Let me know what you think. If you like the broken up segments like this, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like given that big old thumbs up. If you enjoy the content of my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you wish to be notified anytime that I drop new content, please click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. All right, guys, this has been Barbaros of the Barbaros Gaming, and this has been another Shotcut tutorial. You'll have a good day.